All right, all right, LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, uh, a lot of people are thinking that Chris Cyborg called out Megan Anderson, but she really didn't. Somebody asked Chris Cyborg, okay, somebody asked Cyborg, okay, what do you think about fighting Megan Anderson next? And, you know, Cyborg just had a reaction like, look, <laughs> this PG-13 channel, this broad had a chance to fight me, and she pulled out. And, and that's how Cyborg responded to the question, you know. And it's kind of like Cyborg is getting sick and tired of Megan Anderson. So what Cyborg said was, okay, if she really want to fight me, then tell her let's fight in Sydney in November because they're supposed to be about over in her home country. So Cyborg said, yeah, I'm open because, you know, she want to put it to rest, man. See, I told y'all, Cyborg is old school, man. They, they ain't, she not trying to do a whole bunch of talking, man. I mean, if you got words, Chris Cyborg is like, okay, let, let, let's step your ass in the octagon and see what you got to say after I get done with you. See, that's that's how Cyborg resolves problems. That that That's the only way she know. That's just how that is. That's just the way that is. So, this is the scenario next for Cyborg. It could be Holly Holm or it could be Megan Anderson. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't think either one of these two is going to step up. I just, I don't see it. And even though Cyborg has leverage now, she's got the belt. And if anybody who should really be thinking, okay, let me get this fight ASAP is Megan Anderson. Like, she need to be the one saying, you know, <laughs> okay, I need to fight her. This girl got the belt that I want. But, uh, guys, we know that's not going to happen, okay? And I'm going to address a couple other things in this video, too. Um, you know, people... I don't know, man. It, it, you know what it is? It's just, this is a unique situation where you got somebody's good as Cyborg. Like, she's that good. And see, people are saying, well, you know, more people are going to want to fight Cyborg because Tanya Evans took her to the third round. No. Cyborg fought a patient fight. So now you got this girl who who's a killer in the octagon. And now you mean she can be patient. She can counter punch like I told y'all months ago that she could do. She can counter punch. She can pick you apart now. Wait a minute. She's she's got head movement. She's stepping back out of range. She's using lateral movement. Wait a minute. Is this the evolution of Chris Cyborg? And the answer is yes. You saw her skill sets are much much better. And I've been telling people if she gets into the octagon, if she get in the octagon, especially with Megan, she gonna get in there and and she gonna wreck Megan. I'm talking about it's gonna be no holds barred. She ain't going to take her time. She's going to get in there and wreck Megan Anderson. Cyborg don't like Megan Anderson. Okay, I can tell you. You can even tell whenever Megan name brought up, you can hear, see Cyborg body language change altogether. Like, I just want to fight this girl. Cyborg can't stand Megan Anderson. Cannot stand her. And she would love nothing more than to get her hands on Megan and get her in that octagon and show her what the hell is up. See, that's that's what it is. Home people are saying, well, you know, Holly Holm has never been knocked out. Yes, she have. Okay, uh, she got knocked out in a boxing match of all things. She got knocked out by Sophie Mathis. Sophie Sophie Mathis almost knocked her out through the. I mean, she almost knocked out the damn ring. She put Holly Holm to sleep. Sophie Mathis put Holly Holm to sleep. So we got to say that Holly's never been knocked out. She has. And if she fights Cyborg, I can guarantee, yeah, it'll be a stand-up bout. I just don't think Holly Holm got the firepower to deal with Cyborg. Because, you know, people are saying, well, you know, all Holly Holm got to do is, all she got to do is just kick uh, Cyborg in the head with that head kick, and Cyborg is going down. Okay. I mean, that's what y'all think. I want y'all to look at this. I want y'all to look at that, okay? That's Jarena Jojo Bars and Chris Cyborg. And shout out to Jarena. Jarena watches all my videos, too. And, and you know, I interviewed Jarena twice. And I'm actually, I, I, I'm set to interview Jarena again sometime next month. But, um, she, um... She unloaded a clip on Cyborg ass. When I tell you she un unloaded a clip, she kneed Cyborg to death. She kicked Cyborg in the head multiple times, dropped Cyborg multiple times. And this damn woman just kept getting up. Like, Jarena Jojo Bars unloaded a damn clip. I'm talking about unloaded on Cyborg. And I'm sorry. I mean, when you look, when you talk about, you know, Muay Thai and kickboxing, Jarena Jojo Bars, to me, is the best. At 145 pounds, it's Jarena Bars, okay? At 145 pounds, Jarena Bars is the best. So you trying to tell me that the world's best Muay Thai fighter 
in the world undefeated can't knock out Cyborg and y'all think Holly Holm going to do it. Stop. I mean, y'all got to stop right now, okay? Because I'm going to be honest, and some and somebody else told me, well, I think Holly Holm could defeat, you know, all of Chris Cyborg's opponents. Not this one. Uh, Holly Holm is not going to beat a Jarena Bars in a matchup. I, I don't know. And Holly Holm don't even do a lot of grappling. So even in the MMA matchup, I think Jarena Bars beats Holly Holm. Definitely in a kickboxing or a Muay Thai matchup, Jarena Bars beats Holly Holm. Jarena Bars couldn't KO Chris Cyborg. Holly Holm ain't doing it. I'm sorry. And Jarena is as tough as they get. So I just want to shut that notion down that, you know, Holly could place a head kick and possibly KO Chris Cyborg. It's not going to happen. Cyborg going to get in there. And I'm, 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 I told y'all what's going to happen. I don't even understand why y'all just don't hit us, okay? I done told y'all what's going to happen. Cyborg gonna start out the first round for the first 30 seconds. She gonna pick and choose, and then she gonna see an opening because Cyborg is faster. Holly Holm gonna try to move around, step back out of range. That that listen, that PG-13 channel. That's not gonna work. Chris Cyborg will cut off the octagon. Do you? I mean, I have to wonder. Do some of you guys watch? Do you guys ever watch the technical attributes of the fight? Because if you watch these technical attributes, you'll see that Cyborg is a mastermind of cutting off the octagon. And she does it to the point where, you know, you sitting here thinking, damn, this cage, this cage and this area is big. Why the hell do I feel like I'm running out of space? It's because Cyborg cuts off the octagon. And she going to trap Holly home. Going to trap her. Holly ain't going to have nowhere to go. She going to have to fight. And she going to have to stand and fight. Like, it, inevitably, Holly home would have to stand and trade with Cyborg. Which, Holly home is going to sleep. If she, I'm telling y'all, mark my words. I'm not trying. I'm just telling y'all what's up. If Holly Holm or Megan Anderson, if they get in that octagon with Cyborg, they going to sleep. That that's it. They going to sleep. It ain't nothing else to it. They're going to sleep. I can't see Mike Winklejohn. I can't see him saying, "Okay, let's take this fight." Uh -uh. He was dead set against it when the fight first got offered. I, and I think, and Holly Holm listens to Mike Winklejohn. His opinion, anyway. I already know Mike Winklejohn ain't going for that. He ain't trying to have that. He ain't trying to have it, y'all. I'm just that's just how that is, the way that is. And you know, Megan Anderson pulled out. She was like, uh uh. See, man, here's one thing, man. You gotta start really looking at what people say, their body language, and then how they react to a situation. I told y'all. See, I did that video, the people on the left and the people on the right. I mean, y'all really go and look at a lot of things that Megan say. And the girl got an excuse, okay? Holly Holm don't make a lot of excuses. And I'll give Holly that. She don't make a whole lot of excuses. And Holly Holm didn't come out and say, I don't want to fight Cyborg. But, you know, her team pretty much said, hell no. Winkle John shut that down. <laughs> he shut that down quick. And I can tell you he's not happy about this. He, he probably telling Holly now, listen, don't get in there. Because you remember he was saying that, you know what, the person need to be clean for a year before they can fight. You know, but of course... I got like two arguments that could debunk what he just said already. And it's somebody in his camp already that, that got popped. But I ain't going to bring this. It's not about him. I'm just telling y'all. This this is the scenario for Cyborg. This is it. But who's going to step up? Between these two, who's going to step up? I don't think either one of them going to step up. But if they do, you know I'll come on and make a video and tell y'all that I was wrong. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harris. I'm done. What are you guys waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.